Uh, welcome to our Broadway Family Karate video tutorial for week five. Uh, this is your A day for your honors lesson. Uh, we will be testing you over this material for your first strike this week. So I want to pay attention. Okay, let's go ahead and bow in. So, show you again. Show you again. Tenets of Taekwondo begin. Courtesy, humility, integrity, perseverance, self-control, indomitable spirit. Ine. Okay, for our warm-up today, we will be looking at a technique out of Dosan. Um, we will be looking at our sparring combination and our formal back fist. So let's go ahead and start with wedging block, front snap kick, lunge punch, reverse punch combination. So let's have everybody go ahead and start with your right leg out in front. We're going to start with our hands in and our hips. Let's go ahead and we'll take a quick look at these techniques. Cross, okay? come out into the wedge, front snap kick, and just keep your hands up in this position. As you put it down, chamber for your lunge punch. And your reverse punch. So right leg out in front, okay. arms at your hips, and one. Left leg out in front, okay. wedging block, front snap kick, lunge punch, reverse punch combination, and go. And two. Three. Four. And five. Next thing we will look at for our warm-up today will be the formal back fist with a step. So let's go ahead and start with our left leg out in front and the chamber our right hand on top. Nice tight fist. Right hand over our shoulder. We're going to go ahead and C-step into a front stance. Back fist strike. And step and strike. And go. And go. Let's actually go ahead and let's actually work that as a floor draw. I'm going to take a couple steps back. Let's go and start with our left leg on front. So we're going to start with our right. And we're going to step and strike. Then we're going to chamber our other hand on top and we'll step through. And strike. Through and strike. Hand on top. We'll go ahead and step back. Back this strike. Back this strike. Strike and forward. Two, three, and back. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. Stepping back. One, two, and three. Okay, last thing we're going to look at in our warm up will be our back fist, double back fist, reverse punch combination. We're working with our and with our free sparring technique. So let's go right leg forward. Good sparring stance. We're going to go ahead and shuffle forward. And two back fists high. Reverse punch. And we're going to shuffle back. Okay, so shuffle in. One, two, three. And shuffle back. And go. 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 And go. Good. Switch feet. Okay, so left leg in front. Shuffle forward. Back fist, back fist. Reverse punch. Shuffle back out. Okay. Go. 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 And one more. Go. Very good. 
Pretty quick stretch. Bend over to your right. And switch sides. Hands on your hips. Gently over backwards. Reach up towards the ceiling. Down towards the floor. Long reaches across your body. Bad an angle towards the ceiling. Link your fingers. Palms out of way. Push up. So ready? Show you. Yeah. Okay, the first thing we're going to look at today's lesson will be pattern do song, naming techniques. Okay. I'm going to go through this three times. The first couple times, I will name the techniques with you. On the third time, I'm going to have you guys name them on your own. I will go through the pattern with you guys, just like we do in class. I'm not going to say anything. I'll have you guys at home name the techniques. Chimbi. Okay. Do song, naming techniques, and begin. Outer forearm block, reverse punch. Outer forearm block, reverse punch. Double knife hand block. Spear hand middle. Break. Back fist. Back fist, outer forearm block, reverse punch, outer forearm block, reverse punch, wedging block, front snap kick, lunge punch, reverse punch, wedging block, front snap kick, lunge punch, reverse punch, high block, High block, knife hand strike, knife hand strike. Sweet. Guinea. Okay. okay. Second time we're going to go through, we're all going to name the techniques, change up the angle a little bit. Okay, so we face me. Okay. Ready? Okay. Do song. Naming techniques and begin. Outer forearm block, reverse punch. Outer forearm block, reverse punch. The knife hand block, spear hand middle. Break. Back fist strike, back fist strike. Outer forearm block, reverse punch. Outer forearm block, reverse punch, wedging block, front snap kick, lunge punch, reverse punch, wedging block, front snap kick, lunge punch, reverse punch, high block, high block, knife hand strike, Knife hand strike. Yeah. Very good. Okay. We will go ahead, take a quick breather. We'll run through that one more time. I'm not going to name the techniques this time. I'm going to have you guys name them nice and loud at home. Okay. Okay. Ready? Okay. Those on. Naming techniques. I'm going to go through nice and slow. And begin.
very good. Those some naming techniques. Okay, next thing we will look at is the formal back fist that we worked on in our warm ups. I'm going to do, do a couple more of those in the air, work a little bit more on technique. And I'll have Ms. Just go and come out with a target, and we will work those on a oval kicking shield or an oval hand shield. So let's go ahead, go left leg out in front. Okay, so we're going to be striking with our right hand. So nice tight fist, both your hands. Just going to put it right over your shoulder like a hug. Now that step two is going to give you a good twist of your hips. You do want to make sure you are stepping into a good front stance, get a good C step. That will give you a little twist on the hips. And just come through and strike. When you're working these in the air, um, go ahead, picture an imaginary target in front of you. So just put that strike right on the target. Usually a back fist comes into the side of the head. Okay? So just imagine imaginary target that you're throwing that into. So let's go ahead and start. Left foot in front. So we're going to step through with our right. We're going to do, we're going to do three steps forward, three steps back like we did in the warm-ups. That's a really good drill. It's a little cardio and it helps you with your technique. So we're just going to step and strike. Other hand on top. Step back. to a target. So, Mr. Driscoll, you can get a uh, hand shield. We'll work this on a target. Okay, this side first. Sorry, that side. Okay. okay, he's going to hold that up about head high, held off to the side. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead, find a place on your shield. You want to find a target. Your striking surface on your back fist, those two big knuckles, just like with a regular punch, back fist, same target. Find a place to put that. I like to put the little T right in the middle, in the century. That's where I want to put those two big knuckles every time. So what we're going to do, let's go and go right foot forward, put those knuckles on the target. We're going to go ahead and step into this, but I just want to get our distance. Like we talked about in the past, you don't want your arm completely straight. You want some bend in it. So get it right about there. A nice comfortable bend. Knuckles on the target. So now, right foot front. Right hand is striking, so I'm going to step back. Now I've got my right hand chambered on top. And I'm going to step in, putting my knuckles on the target. Okay, and go. Good. Don't worry about hitting it hard, really just work on good technique and accuracy. And go. Three. And four. Five. Six. Let's go ahead, a little more twist. If you're hitting on the target, if you're getting good connection with your target, you can add a little bit more power. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add another something. We'll keep it on that side. We're going to add a something, a little something different, something we take out of our self defense class. We're going to go ahead on each strike, we're just going to say no. Okay, just like we do in our self defense techniques. So, same thing. Measure that up. I'm going to step back. As I step through and strike, five of these. Nice and loud. Okay? Remember, we don't want to be all soft and quiet. No. Okay. Come through. Strike. No! Okay. Good power. And two. No! Three. No! Four. No! And five. No! 
Feels good. All right, switch sides. Okay, target about where I want it. Still, I mean, you guys can't see it on this side. Still aiming for that T. So I got my left foot in front, my left hand, good distance, making sure my two big knuckles striking my target. Okay, step back, chamber that left hand on top. We're gonna start doing nice and slow working technique. It's finding our target. Okay, and two. Contact. If you're actually striking it, feel good with the technique. We're going to go a little bit harder, a little bit faster, a little more contact. And seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Very good. Okay. We're going to add our no in. So we're going to do five more. Okay. We've got the accuracy down. We're going to add some power. Nice, strong. No. And one. No. Two. No. Three. No. Four. No. And five. No. So, very good. Okay, practice those. Uh, good back fist. Start off slow. Make sure you've got good technique, making contact right on that spot that you've picked out. Once you get the accuracy down, add a little more power in. Okay, the last thing we're going to look at is our sparring combination. The double back fist, reverse punch combination. Now we want to change our mindset a little bit with this. With the formal back fist, we're trying to work our way up with the power. In our sparring combination, we're really just trying to get a quick on-target strike. We're not working for power in our free sparring combination. So we just want to get in, a pop, and then set up that reverse punch. Remember, you want to use your back fist to pull your partner's guard up so you can sneak that reverse punch in underneath. So let's go ahead, start right leg out in front. Good sparring stance, okay? Right hand up, good bend on it. Extend it a little bit further out. You don't want it tucked in here like a boxing guard. We want our guard extended out a little bit. And our back hand crossed our body, okay? Every once in a while when you're sparring, just try to remember your hands look down, try to just get your hands back into a good position. And we're gonna go ahead and shuffle forward. Back fist, back fist, reverse punch. And then shuffle back. And go. 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 And go. Switch feet. So we got left foot in front. Same thing, shuffle in. Back fist, back fist. Reverse punch. And go. 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 And go. Very good. Okay, we're also going to work this drill on long sword and a short sword. Okay, still not making contact with our partners, we're trying to stay safe. So we're going to use the swords. Uh, it's just going. We're going to start this as a stationary drill. We're going to work this. Once we get a little more comfortable, we're going to go and move around a little bit. So let's go ahead and start stationary. I'm going to start with my right foot in front. Okay. The upright sword could be my back fist. The horizontal sword is going to be my reverse punch. These are not very big targets, okay? They're small. So you can't just be flailing around. You really have to kind of take your time and work and practice. I'm going to get that a little higher. Okay. Yeah, not quite Mr. Disco in height, but yeah. Yeah, right about there. So set your targets up, okay? About a Mr. Fee's height. That's about how high I want that at. 
Okay, so I'm not even going to shuffle back. I'm just going to work just like a free sparring. I'm going to shuffle in, one, two, and then reverse, and then shuffle out. Okay, and one, two. And I'll kind of hold that second back fist up. If my partner's blocked that with his fist, so I'll just kind of hold that up so I can sneak that reverse punch underneath. Okay, and we're going to go one more time. Three. And I'm going to switch sides. So he's going to go and switch. Okay? Same thing with my left side forward. One, two, and then reverse punch. Okay. And go. 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 And go. For our movement part of the drill, um, this gets a little more complicated for the holders. Okay, my job's easy, his job a little more complicated. Okay, so we're going to start um, with my left foot in front. Okay, so my left foot in front, that's my back fist hand. So one, two, three. We're going to add some movement. What Mr. Discord is going to do is he's going to switch sides. So he's going to switch uh, so that his other swords, and then I'm going to switch feet. So I'm going to keep the back fist target on my front foot. Okay? So as he switches, I switch. As he switches back, I switch. Okay? Switch with your partner. Partners, don't flip back and forth really quickly, okay? Let them do a couple, then switch and a couple and switch so they get practice on both sides. Start off slow. Just kind of work your way around in a circle. Just kind of practice this on a moving target. Try to stay back a little bit. Okay? Sneak in. And back out. Okay? And as he switches, I switch my feet. One, two, three. Nice and slow, working the combination. Work the distance. And we're hitting that sword, it's a small target. swords start off slow move with your partner once your partner starts the attack go ahead and freeze okay as you get a little better at the techniques you can pick it up a little bit okay Whew. it's a long note so I'm gonna kiss my breath real quick um, this week we looked at dose on front to back naming the techniques we looked at the formal back fist with a step. And of course, we looked at a sparring combination, double back fist, reverse punch combination. Okay, that will be on your first try test that you will be doing this week. So let's go ahead and bow out. So everybody face me. Show you again. Shariut, Kine. Student oath begin. I pledge to be a champion of freedom and justice. I pledge to observe the tenets of Taekwondo. I pledge to respect my instructors and my fellow students. I pledge never to misuse Taekwondo. I pledge to build a more peaceful world. 
Kine. Very good. Thank you very much. We'll see you next week. Kine.